Hello, I'm Matuba George. Now, this is a new week, and I'm trusting the Spirit of God to, to bring His truth towards this week like never before. I pray that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened by the Spirit of God. You see, Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit comes, He will teach us all things, and He will also guide us into all truths. Praise God. Now that's the work and ministry of the Holy Spirit today in our lives is to teach us and guide us into every truth. The Holy Spirit is not just there to, to, to make you get a miracle. He will do all that. Praise God. But get it. His number one role in your life is to make you become exactly like Jesus. Praise God. And how does he do that? By teaching you. Praise God. Now that's what we've been talking about, how to hear the voice of God. Because if you don't understand, like I told you last week and previous week, listen, the Holy Spirit is already speaking to you. That's one thing I want you to know. You don't, he is not waiting for you to do one, two, three steps. Get born again first. Get, oh, let me tell you, let me tell you this truth. You even began to hear the voice of God before you got born again. You didn't even know that. Praise God. See, because if you were not hearing the voice of God, trust me, there is no way you're going to get born again. No way. I'll tell you why. To get born again means you have to respond to a call. Which call? Not the preacher's call. That's why I tell people, see, it's not because you went for the altar call. That means you got saved. Salvation is the work of the Holy Spirit. If he doesn't give it to you, no matter how many hands are laid on you, nothing happened. Praise God. Yeah, nothing happened. So, don't, you know, people get confused. Say, oh, the, even preachers don't even understand what I'm telling you. You know, lots of them now. You think you finish preaching. And then you say, if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, come out. And then people march out. And then you, you are happy. Oh, a hundred people, a thousand people came out to give their hearts to Jesus Christ. Now listen, the fact that they came out didn't mean they got born again. Someone says, hey, but the Bible says, if thou shalt confess with thy heart, with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So the preacher leads them, say after me, I come. But notice, the scripture didn't say, if you shall say, you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and say you believe in your heart. He didn't say that. He says, if you confess, now confession is a big word. It's not just to say, I believe Jesus is Lord. It doesn't mean you believe. See, there is a realization and that's why I said, the scripture says this. First Corinthians chapter 2, it says, no man can talks of ability no man can say that jesus is lord except by the holy spirit now you can walk to anybody and say say jesus is lord you say jesus is lord say jesus is lord jesus is lord so does it mean the holy spirit empowered all of them to no 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 they are not saying jesus is lord they are speaking jesus is lord those are two different things to speak and to say, they are not the same thing. There are lots of people who their speech and what they say doesn't tally. You know what I'm talking about. You know, someone is saying something, they say, okay, so, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. But, 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 but you were speaking something. Say, no, that's not what I'm saying. You know, even in the faiths, lots of people who, who try to act out faith now. You find out, they say, oh, can you give me some money because I'm very rich right now. Now. Look at that statement. Can you give me some money because I'm very rich right now? Now, someone who's very rich right now doesn't need money. He doesn't need money from you. You know what I'm talking about? He doesn't need to come, can you give me some money? No. Now, he is speaking, I'm very rich right now. But he is saying, I am broke. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, he's saying and he's speaking, don't tally. Now, People think this is positive confession. It's because I don't want to say I am broke. But that's exactly what you are saying. And what you say carries more weight than what you speak. Oh, sure. Because what you say is from your heart. 
what you speak might just be from your head. And it is in your heart. The Bible says, for with the heart, con- um, we believe. See? With the heart, we believe. Now, with the mouth, we confess. What do we confess? What we believe. So, it is when the mouth begin to speak in accordance to what the heart is saying that a miracle happens. You understand what I'm saying? So, the fact that you call out people say, say after me, Lord Jesus, and they say the Lord Jesus doesn't mean it came from their heart. Now, for that thing to come from your heart, there must be first a realization. And what brings about that realization? It is the Holy Spirit that convinces a man that Jesus is Lord. It is the Holy Spirit that opens the understanding. It is the Holy Spirit that that just turns on that light in you. And then it just dawns on you that come to think about it, Jesus is actually Lord. Now that can happen even before you go to the altar for the altar call. That can happen when you're just sitting down and listening to the preacher or someone talk about Jesus. That can happen when you're sitting down watching TV. It can happen when you're watching a movie. It can just happen. You know, you're just watching something and the Holy Spirit just ministers to you and say, you know what? Do you know that's why Jesus is Lord? And then you just go, yeah, that's true. Well, that's true. Jesus is Lord. See, sitting down in that movie, on, uh, watching that movie, sitting down in wherever you are, that that realization comes to you. Salvation came to you. So what do you do? At that moment you realize it, you confess it with your mouth. It may not be someone telling you, say after me. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is how the Holy Spirit brings salvation into our life. That's why I say you began to hear the Holy Spirit even before you got born again. And that's the truth. And that's one thing I wanted to take home today. You began to hear the voice of God before you got saved, but you just didn't know. Praise God. I've got to stop. We're going to continue tomorrow. And listen, the Spirit of God is building your life up. You know why? He's got an inheritance for you. And you are going to receive it. Bye-bye.